Welcome back for another look at new features coming in Heart of the Swarm. This is Kevin Johnson, also known as Cloakin, and I'm the Community Manager for StarCraft II. In this week's video, we're going to show you a few more features being added to the game that will support esports and the experience surrounding multiplayer games. To kick things off, let's take a look at an exciting group of features that will change the way you interact with replays in StarCraft II. One of the features we know the community has been passionately asking for is the ability to watch replays in a group. We're happy to announce that in Heart of the Swarm, you can now do that. While in the replay menu, simply click the new Watch with Others button located at the bottom of the interface. This will open up a Battle.net lobby that you can invite other players into. If you happen to already be in a party when you click the Watch with Others button, your entire party will automatically join the replay lobby with you, just as it would in a custom game lobby. When you fire up the replay, all of the players from the previous lobby will now be able to watch the targeted game in sync together, just as if it were a live experience. You can chat with the members of your group and even individually control the Observer UI. The host of a group watching a shared replay has a few special controls granted to them, including the ability to adjust the timeline of a game, jumping backwards and forwards as they see fit, as well as the ability to adjust the playback speed. Additionally, one of the great pieces of feedback we received from Swarm beta testers was the desire to have an easier way to jump right into the replay of a game you just completed. We have added that feature as well with the addition of a Watch Replay button located here on the score screen. If you happen to be in a party when you click this button, it will open a replay lobby in the same way we mentioned previously. Watching replays with friends is certainly an exciting addition to StarCraft II, but we thought it might be cool to take that idea a step further. What if you could watch a replay with a friend and then decide at any moment to jump into the game as an actual player from that game? Well, now you can. We're calling this feature Take Command. With the Take Command feature, players can explore new ways of playing StarCraft II through the experience of replays. Maybe you want to see if employing a different strategy would improve your chances at success against an opposing strategy. Simply fire up a relevant replay and jump into the game at any point. Maybe you want to improve your ability to micro and macro units against your opponent without having to execute the initial section of your build order. Or perhaps you just want to pretend you can play as well as your favorite esports pro by incarnating a game they recently played in a major tournament. All of this is available to you with Take Command. Those of you who are passionate fans of watching StarCraft as an esport know exactly how frustrating it is to be spectating a game between two world-class players when some kind of technical issue happens, forcing the competitors to have to start the game from the beginning. This could be anything from a power outage or hardware issue to a network failure completely out of your control. Well, in a feature we're calling Recover Game, we are providing a client support solution for these problems. While in the replay screen, right-click on the replay of interest and select Recover Game in the context menu to take you to a Battle.net lobby. From this lobby, you can now invite the original players of the game. Once the original players are in the lobby, click the Recover button to be presented with a dialog window. This window will allow the host to select the time in the replay from which to continue the game. The game will even offer up suggested times where a potential issue may have occurred, such as one player ceasing to provide input or one or both players being dropped from the game. Simply make your choice from any of these suggestions or choose your own and click the Start Game button. The game will then load into a paused state, offering players a moment to reacquaint themselves with what was going on in the game at the time it was recovered. At that point, a referee or the players themselves can unpause the game and continue where they left off. Along with these cool features governing replays, we have made some exciting additions to the Observer mode for StarCraft II. We are offering a few new convenience features, like the ability to click on units in the production tab to quickly hop to their map locations, and additions to the minimap that now clearly show the location of nukes and nidus worms, plus simple white flashes to highlight active combat engagements. However, the feature we're most excited about is the ability to fully customize the Observer UI. If you're a tournament organizer or a video content creator and would like to surface unique information for your audience, or simply present work in a unique and stylized way, you now have free reign to do so. Here is a rough working example of what a custom interface could look like, just to give you some ideas. We are really excited to see what the community will produce using this feature and look forward to hearing your feedback on how we can make future improvements. Okay, 
Two more quick things before I let you go. First, we have added new physics to the game that will make the experience of head-to-head -head combat a bit more exciting and visceral. Here's examples showing the physics settings turned off and on. As you can see, it makes a surprising difference to the look and feel of the game. Lastly, we have heard the cry of the community for more stats. As you can see here, we've added both a race and map report tab to your player profile, as well as a performance tab to the score screen that displays both your performance against opponents and your career averages as you play games throughout the season. There you have it, a quick overview of features coming in Heart of the Swarm to support esports and the multiplayer experience. If you happen to miss our first two videos, you should definitely check them out. We hope you've enjoyed this series, and we look forward to launching the game with you, our community, at midnight on March 12th of this year. I'm Kevin Johnson, the Community Manager for StarCraft II. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll talk to you soon.